Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Kyle and we're here in the modest house where we're doing a window install on the interior. And I thought, you know what, let's make a video and kind of show you, cause I don't think I've ever done it, um, how we seal this window up from the inside. So I'm going to put a clip here on what we did to the window when we put it in. That way you can see maybe the behind the scenes of what was happening before we got to this point. But we're now gonna take it from window installed to finish. Now, obviously, if you're watching this, you might end up trimming a little differently uh, with your finishes, but we're gonna be using a white PVC and steel trim because we are in a shop garage that we're not gonna be doing drywall and wood trim, okay? But you would just change that application into whatever you're gonna trim it out. The important thing is what we're using here is Sega IS-20 Fentrum. This, and this is where I'll throw a clip in, right here and I'll show you how we were installing it on the window before we actually installed the window. But we now are at the point where we need to seal this. And what I like about this is we don't have to rely on like spray foam cans or sealants. We have a good air control layer here with the Sega Fentrum and using it over the last couple of years, I know it works really well. The other thing I wanted to share is that instead of using like a spray can of foam or whatever, we've got backer rod tucked in to this window as I added a little bit of insulation since that is a foam. And the main thing is we're trying to stop air from coming from outside to inside. So I'm gonna show you how we do this. Um, I haven't seen a ton of content out there, but after the Sega is attached to the window and the window is mounted, now what we have is to tape it to the jam, okay? So what we have is the, the double-backed Sega and I'm actually gonna leave the, the first piece of backing on. Now I've done it both ways. I don't think there's a huge advantage to leaving it, but there is a huge disadvantage when it comes to the install because it makes it much, much more difficult. So feel free to, to roast me in the comments if you think that I'm somehow doing it wrong by not doing both. But my thoughts are when you're doing overlaps on materials, you're not getting the whole tape on the whole joint anyway. You're only getting half of it on both sides. So this should be good enough to seal what we need to do. Okay, so I'm gonna take my backing off and this is a very difficult process to get really good. And it might, you might be like, dude, it doesn't really matter. You're not building a cabinet here. Oh, and I just right out of the gate kind of didn't do as good as I would want. What I'm trying to do is reduce and minimize any fish mouthing, okay? Because fish mouthing, that's this little bit right here. Um, that right there is where you would get a potential air leak, but that is so minor that I don't think I'm even concerned because I have it sealed behind it. Um, the nice thing about the Sega Fentrum IS-20, okay, there are two different, there are actually probably multiple different Fentrums, but we use the gray and we use the white. The permeability is different. So you don't want to use gray Fentrum on the inside. You want to use white on the inside, gray on the outside because of their drying capabilities and the way moisture moves through a wall interior is white okay so i'm just going to pull this backing off and i found that if i use my hand i can get it to lay pretty decent and then i'm going to come back and i'm going to use my squeegee to really get that to adhere and this is what you really want nice and flat no fish mouthing and you can see i'm kind of loose back in here that's good because that's where when i put my trims in i don't want that to be tight and i don't want it to be taped out past the window. So sometimes if you're doing both, if you pull the backing on the backside, it can get a little bit weird. But the corners are where the real struggle bus can occur because you're going around a corner and everything needs to stay really nice and tight. When I did the tape on the outside of the window before we installed it, I had to add extra material right in here and that is so that you can go around the corner and be tight to the wall. If you're tight to the window and you have a gap, which you should have a gap here, um, then that's where you will have a problem. So this is kind of a, this, well, you can see right here, now I'm gonna struggle because I didn't do an exact perfect amount of material here. And I know it's gonna be hard for you guys to see, but I need to just kind of minimize my fish mouthing here. The nice thing about Fentrum is, look at that, you can really, really work it out. So we're gonna keep going around. Use your hand to kinda set your Fentrum 
first, it does make it a little bit easier. And coming in and out of corners is where the hard part is. Just going through the straights are not too bad. This corner is gonna be good though. Oh yeah. You guys couldn't even see that one and that one turned out phenomenal. I know some people are probably saying, man, that is so overkill. You're doing all this. Um, well, it just depends on the level that you're building at, guys. You don't have to do this for everything. You don't have to go above and beyond. Um, I've always had the mentality of trying to build like you would want it built for yourself. And after building like RRHQ 2.0, we did this in there. We followed a lot of the same practices that we're trying to um, put into our houses for our customers. And what I can tell you is that the level of comfort in our HQ 2.0, because of the extra time that we spent on the details, making sure things were done properly, I can promise you is the most comfortable structure that I've ever owned, that I've really probably ever been in. And I think it's because of these sorts of things. It's the little things that Ah, look at that corner. That one turned out really good too. It's the little things that you just kind of go a little bit more above and beyond um, that I think are the overall benefit for the person that's going to be living in the home. And so, yes, this might be kind of overkill, but it's never going to be redone until somebody redoes this window in 25 years or longer. And so I think it's worth, it's worth spending the time. Look at that. I think we're gonna have another good one right here. So it was just that first one that was kind of trash. Okay. All right. So there we go. We now have the window all sealed up. It's sealed beautifully. And what I can do next is I'm gonna take my PVCs get them cut to size. And those are gonna go in just like this. So I gotta get a couple dimensions. We'll get those installed, get our jams, get our steel. And um, this is where you would probably use maybe a typical wood, or maybe you wanna come back in with a drywall return. Uh, but the important thing is when I really wanted to make the, the, the point of this video was to show this detail, how this all comes together from wrapping the tape on the window when you go to install it, and then when you come on the inside to do your finishes, getting this all tape sealed off and having a nice airtight window. We're also using casements. So crank out windows are awesome because when they close, they close to a seal. Double hungs, sliders, they're great windows, but they just aren't as energy efficient because they're sliding past seals and that doesn't work nearly as well. Um, if you guys are interested, uh, just a heads up, we're gonna be doing blower doors in the modest house. So look for that video coming up and um, let's go ahead and get this trimmed out and we'll see how it all turns out. 11, PVC makes such a clean extension, and we're gonna use um, Cortex. So these are screws that go in, and then you can see they have the little plugs, so you don't really even see the, see the screw. Now, it, it is visible to a degree. Screws are kind of cool actually. You can see they've got your regular threads, but then they've got this spot here where it reverse threads. And what this does is as you're screwing into material, it takes all the PVC instead of curling out and it sucks it down. And that's what leaves you with this super nice hole right here so that you can take one of these plugs
So we're gonna set that there, and then I'm gonna grab a piece of scrap. And some are better than others. I mean, obviously you still see it. It's almost amazing how you don't see it if you go with the cedar grain up. Who wants, who wants to have to clean a window jam that's got grooves everywhere? This is not a house, this is a garage, so it's, it's okay. They got a little bit of a taper to them, so you got your finished side, which that one's got a little ding on it. And then it, it's tapered just to get it started so that it wedges tight in there. Okay, so now we got our jam extensions on, the windows sealed. Now we're ready for our metal J channels, which once again, this is a garage, not a house. So this is a different window we finished, but you get the idea. Um, this is all trimmed out now. Like I said, you're probably not gonna use metal J channels, PVC trims, but the idea remains the same. A good, well thought out and well executed air sealing around the window is gonna keep air from leaking in. These are like the worst spots in houses, windows and doors. Your walls are easy to detail, but penetrations like windows, doors, pipes, things like that, is where it really um, makes a difference to spend a little bit of extra time. So hopefully this video helped you. I mean, Sega Fentrum IS-20, it's a great product to use, works well. If I think about it, I will put a link down below to a, a place that uh, I always send people. I have no affiliation, I'm not making any money, but they seem to be like the best place to buy Sega products in North America. And uh, yeah, so let me know down below in the comments uh, what you think about this detail. And I mean, if you're doing a shop, if you are doing some metal, Look at that, that is super clean, durable, uh, way better than a metal jam or even a wood jam, I think, because this, uh, this is gonna hold up really good. Moisture, dirt, debris, all good. Thanks guys, catch you on the next video.